Carolyn, what happened was this 10-year-old girl was victimized through a app called Text Plus. And here it is. You can see it here. It's used on the iPhone and also on the Android. And basically what happens is you can download this program. You can text for free, but it pretty much opens you up to anyone who's online. We do check their apps. Christy and Jeff Inglesby are parents of four kids, and in 2012, that means four kids who have access to millions of websites and apps that put them in reach of online predators. Jeff probably knows better than most how to protect his kids. He's the director of cybersecurity and intelligence studies at U of D Mercy. You have to be a uh, very involved parent. You have to be watching them, right? I find a lot of moms don't really know the dangers. They don't understand what Wi-Fi is or how the texting on their eye touch can lead to, you know, strangers. Christy and Jeff were not surprised to hear about the metro area's latest young victim of cyber stalking. According to Troy Police, a 10-year-old girl was using an app called Text Plus to message with her friends. Only a stranger hit her up and sent her lewd photos. The easiest thing to do is to restrict them from having Text Plus. And the iPhone is great because it has parental controls which say, before you install this app, um, what's the rating on the app? Is it nine-year-olds plus? Christy and Jeff's teen kids say strangers often try to engage them online and on their phones, but they know how to protect themselves. I just ignore it most of the time because it doesn't, it doesn't help anything to text back. That's, that's the worst thing you could do, like answer back to them and get into a conversation. If you answer back, it, it, is, it creates a window. Um, it creates a window uh, for, of opportunity for them, really. Um, to get at you, you know. All right, so there's a look at the icon. So if you have a child who you think might have this uh, app, you can see what it looks like there. It's Text Plus again, and you can check that. Another piece of advice from the professor you heard from in the piece, make sure you check your bill, and also just keep checking your child's cell phone. See what apps they're downloading, and again, the bill or the account to see what has been downloaded. And communicating, again, such an important part of this, making sure you're talking to your children about what they're doing on their phones. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Tom White, 7 Action News. Michael, back to you.